For those who weren't able to make it, I still wanted to kind of give you guys a walk around of the pop-up gallery and how it looks on the inside and, and share a little bit more about what went into each painting and how it influenced the rest of the series. So here we are at the entrance. It's the first thing you see when you walk in. And the text itself goes into what went behind the series, which really conceptually uh, it's around what it means to be strong and passionate over an extended period of time in order to achieve a goal. And so the subject matter, or, or Siamese fighting fish, I was very drawn to them because from the outside they seem very delicate and, and we know them for their vibrant colors, but quite honestly they're also very strong and so I wanted to convey that duality. So use acrylic brush strokes to convey the flowiness and the beauty and the vibrant colors, but also the thousands of thumbtacks that I'm using for the bodies are meant to be not only of scales, but reflective of the body armor of a warrior. In this part of the exhibition, I'm showing the very first Siamese uh, that I did. And here I would say I'm primarily exploring the different colors. You can notice how in some of them, the brush strokes are not as defined as the work that, that I did later on in the series. But I would say I wanted to infuse more movement and more life into the, into the series. And that's where Siamese 7 came from. It was at that point where I, I started including two fish in the same frame and I would say you can certainly see a very big jump in not only the movement of the fish but also the colors and, and the size as well. I, I would say also 48 by 72 or basically 4 feet by 6 feet is, is one of my favorite sizes and that's the first time that I, that I kind of made that jump. So as I mentioned earlier, the decisions I'm making with the colors are with the intention of reflecting the emotion or minds that I had during the period in which I painted each of these paintings. I think Siamese 11, which we see here, is a great example of that. Um, I would say this was a very challenging period where I, I needed to, I feel, kind of push myself beyond what I thought I could. And and I think what you see here is a lot of that passion of, you know, you need to keep going and you need to, to stay strong and, and if necessary, you need to fight. Here we are in front of Siamese 15. I say at this point of the series, I'm, I'm thinking more about the fact that it's not necessarily about fighting. I think it's about finding, finding a man. And so what I'm doing here is using the blues uh, this of uh, the right fish to for the shadows of the left fish. You see how the shadows have that same those same tones. And conversely, I'm using the warm colors uh, as lighting for this one. The idea is that both sides complement each other into harmony. Also, another relevant part of, around this this piece is that before or up until this point, I had been counting how many hours I did. So as a matter of fact, you can see from the back how I'm counting uh, each hour with a little stick. Well, that in the, in the first place came from the idea that um, people don't reach their mastership level until they've done at least 10,000 hours to their practice. So I did want to kind of see how my art evolved uh, as, as I dedicated more hours to it. But then I found myself and I've been too caught up with on, on like the amount of hours and, and, and I think you can see that also in the in the level of detail in this in this fish as well as how tightly together the each brush stroke um, is compared to other ones that we'll see where brush strokes and the compositions are a bit more loose. So I'd say at this point I noticed that and and, and decidedly took a break to be able to study like different techniques, different materials, and most importantly to loosen up a bit. And I did that through a series of studies. Those studies helped inform the last four Siamese fish. So at this part of the series, you can see a, a quite a shift in, in the color palette. And I think it's very reflective of the, the mindset I was in. I think that comes through um, 
through not only in Sammy's 18, but also Sammy's 17, which you can see in the background. So like the compositions are a lot more relaxed, the colors are a lot more zen, so to speak. Um, but then, but the reason why I, I wanted to focus on this one is because, aside from what I just mentioned, this point, at this point, I'm also still exploring the balance idea, like it's the, the two-sided parts. And I think this is something that I'll continue to, to explore because balance is very important to me, but it's not as simple uh, as, as we might think. And so I think there's a lot of more I can do in, in terms of exploring that part. I'm also think, starting to remove thumb tags from the bodies. You see how the bodies no longer have thumb tags for some of them. And I'm also exploring using metallic materials to kind of give you the effect of lighting. And here we are at the very end of the gallery and, and of the tour. This, I would say, has been one of the, uh, the highlights of the, of the pop up exhibition, partly because it's hung at the very end of the, of the gallery, uh, but also I think because of the difference in technique that you see here versus all the rest of the, of the paintings uh, in, in the exhibition. And so let's talk a little bit through that. So, the first and most obvious thing is the idea that I flipped around uh, the thumbtacks. So before I was using the thumbtacks as uh, scales and the body armor of a warrior. But at this point, I'm having the fish break through thousands and thousands of thumbtacks. As far as the drips, this is a, the only painting that has drips out of the, the whole series. And the thinking here is really about how can I loosen up more? The technique, uh, definitely there is some influence from some of, of the artists that, that I that I followed for the past two or three years, including Hong Liu, which is uh, a Bay Area artist. I, I think it, it's a step in the right direction, but I'd say I still have a lot of room to explore and to push in boundaries, and I'll definitely continue to do that in, in the next series, which I think leads me to my last point, which is I definitely wanted to end the series in a, in, in a place where I've definitely pushed the series and, and my technique in a direction that I hadn't done before. And the reason that's important is because I won't necessarily continue to use thumbtacks for the future ones, or um, and I won't necessarily be using fish as my subject matter. So I wanted to kind of start pushing in a direction of more exploration in terms of technique, in terms of concept in terms of of how I think about the painting. And so I leave it at that and, and I am so happy to be able to, to share not only this uh, pop-up exhibition with you guys through this tour, but also in general uh, the, the series itself and, and this milestone. It's been uh, an incredible experience to, to get to this point and continue to share what's next, but I'm, I'm super excited, and, uh, and that's it. Thank you. Bye.